Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, then hello, my name is Jess. We talk about all things fashion, styling advice, travel, vlogs, etc. There's a big diverse mix of things that we do over here. But today I'm gonna to be sharing five pairs of jeans that I'm really loving at the moment with you because I think denim is one of those things that is really difficult to absolutely nail. The ones that fit you, the ones that feel nice, the ones that are the right price point, the high quality, etc. And I thought I would just share with you five pairs that I am personally really loving right now that I think maybe might help you out a little bit or just give you a little advice on somewhere that you might want to try for a pair of jeans in the future. So they're from a few different places. So I've got Zara, Pull and Bear, ASOS, um, Levi's and another ASOS. So five, well, four different places, but five different pairs of jeans. And I'm not gonna lie guys, I waved my hair for the first time and I'm not sure how I feel about it, but we're gonna go with it because I don't wanna redo my hair this morning. So what do we think? Do we like the hair or do we not like the hair? I'm decided, but let me jump straight in and share the jeans with you and get on to the video. First pair of denim is on. It's these jeans, which are the Levi 501s. And honestly, my all time favorite pair of denim. I just think they are an absolute classic. And I know everyone and their wife that claims to love the 501s, but there is a reason that everyone goes nuts for them. And it's because they are amazing. So little top tip for you. If you are planning on buying the 501s, I highly recommend going to somewhere like Amazon because Amazon actually has a really good selection that are the same price as Outlet. Still brand new, still perfect, so highly recommend checking there. Or alternatively, the vintage ones are amazing too. So there's always a million and one on Depop and Vinted and those kind of sites, but the vintage ones fit completely different. And I really like that the denim on the vintage ones is a little bit softer because obviously it's been worn, it's been loved, and it's obviously just better for the environment. But this is the pair that I have. So I've got a 30 leg, which means it comes kind of just to my well, just to my foot really. And I love that length because it means that when I'm wearing shoes, they sit onto my shoes really nicely, but they also roll up really nicely without being too like chunky roll. You know, when you have like short legs like me, like I'm five foot three and my legs are not the longest in the world. Like they're long in proportion to my body. Well, actually are they? I don't know, but I feel like they're long in proportion to my body and they just, I, I end up having to turn up all my jeans and stuff all the time. This pair are a 27 waist, which as you can see is a little bit loose around the waist for me. I would typically go for a 26, but the Levi's when you first get them do come up a little bit tight. So I recommend sizing up by one if you buy them. Um, and obviously, like I said, I'm wearing a 30 leg. These are just the jet black pair. And I do also have these in a darker blue, as well as the wedgie jeans, which I equally really like. However, since lockdown, they do not fit me anymore. So they're actually a 25 waist, which does not fit me at the moment, but I think in time they might do, I don't know. I might end up selling them, but they're a really gorgeous fit too. But yeah, the classic 501s, you really can't go wrong. Next, we've got the weekday row jeans, which if you haven't seen these before, you are missing out because they are the next best thing to the 501s, slightly different fit and honestly, game changing. I think they're about 40, 40, 50 pounds, but I, will never look at another pair of jeans again, she says. I tell a lie, I will look at another pair of jeans again, but I think these will be my go-to for like the straight leg vibe. Because if you are a fellow shorty like me, I find that the wide leg makes me look really short. Whereas these are like a straight leg, but kind of straight from the hip rather than the 501s, which kind of taper down a bit. And it just gives the illusion of a wide leg without being too wide. But these are really high waisted. So they actually come up really high up versus others that are kind of more mid rise. They're really high waisted. They hold you in really nicely. And these are actually an ecru pair, which I think is really beautiful because I'm a sucker for white, but I find that the ecru color is just really versatile in a wardrobe and just goes with everything a little bit better because white can be quite a harsh contrast. Whereas these you could pair with like all black and stuff and they just give that really nice illusion of being really white because they were darker tones, but equally go with all the linens and stuff really nicely too. Like imagine this was like white on white. I think it would just be a bit much, but I like the color of these. Again, they come quite long. These ones actually do come to the floor and these are, I believe a 32. These are in a 26 inch waist and I do really like them. I think the fit is just so stunning and they just hold you in really nicely. And if you are like me, I have quite a straight top half and then I go out at the bottom like a pear shape and they just help to like accentuate my waist, make me look a little bit more kind of hourglassy and I really like that. So yeah, highly recommend these ones. It wouldn't be a jeans video without adding in a pair of blue denim because let's be honest, they are the absolute classic essential base of your wardrobe 
for any human being in any walk of life. I think it's really important to find your perfect colour of blue because I know that everyone likes different shades of blue denim. I personally like the lighter mid-tones. I'm not really a fan of the dark denim. I typically go for a light bleach wash actually, but these are a little bit darker than I normally do. And I just really like them. I think they're really cool. So these are actually 90s, I think they were called like the 90s dad jean on ASOS. So they're like ASOS own brand and they are such a perfect fit. I did question whether these would be good or not when I bought them because I've never really bought ASOS denim before, but I had one pair that are black that are like a really nice wide leg and I thought I'm going to give them a try, see if I like another pair and let me tell you, I love them, I am obsessed with them, I think they fit so dreamy. They are a 27 inch waist again, just a little bit looser because I didn't know what the sizing would be like and I personally don't like when they're really tight around my waist so I do typically size up just to give me that little bit of room depending on how bloated I am, IBS life, or just to you know, give me a bit of movement and freedom around the waistband. But these are, again, a really nice straight leg, which I am absolutely loving at the moment. I'm living for the straight leg vibes. They just fit really, really nicely. They're nice and classic. They have the classic jean detailing, as with the other two, and again, come a really nice length. These are actually a little bit longer. They're that classic, like, straight, straight 90s vibe. So they are not actually that tight on the hips. They're still a bit roomy. And then they go straight down, which I think gives the illusion of longer legs, but also makes them look like wide leg jeans without actually being wide leg jeans. Um, lengthwise, there wasn't a guide on how long they were. There was no kind of picking or choosing. So I just got the classic length, which is a little bit long for me. It does come kind of slightly over my foot, but I don't really mind that because I like that they gather a little bit at the bottom. It's kind of like that 90s naughty style that everyone's loving at the moment. And to be honest, these are my most worn jeans of the minute. I have been living in these, especially for just like casual days roaming around because I'm not typically someone who wears a lot of blue denim. However, I have been gravitating to these more than any other pair at the moment and I'm really liking them. I didn't really think through putting on a shirt with all the pairs of jeans when I picked this pair to go in the video, but this pair of jeans are just, oh, I love them. I don't know what it is about them, but I'm obsessed. So these are actually asymmetric hem, which you can see at the top here. The button's kind of like crossed over. Classic jean, but obviously with a little crossover. They're a really gorgeous stone color that is beautiful. They've got ripped hems and they are just, such a dreamy pair of jeans that are so flattering. So I don't know if you can really see, but where the waistband is asymmetric, it kind of draws your waist in a little bit and makes it look a bit more like tucked and narrow and I don't know, really cute. And then the length is perfect. These are actually a size eight because they're just classic clothes sizes, not waist sizes, and they didn't have a length measurement. However, I do think if they are too long for you, you could always cut them because they are distressed at the bottom. I probably won't cut them because I like that they're really big and baggy, but you obviously could if you wanted to and they'd look fine. But honestly, such a dreamy pair of denim. And I think these were only like 30 pounds and they came in a few colors, but the stone color just took my heart because I don't own anything like it. And I just thought they were a really gorgeous, classic, classic pair of denim that will add nicely to my collection and see me really nicely through this season and future seasons of denim wearing. <laughs> and then last but not least, we've gone a little bit jazzy and I'm completely here for it. I'm obsessed with these. I don't know what it is because I'm never normally a print or like a pattern person, but I'm obsessed. I just, I love them so much. And I think I'm going to get so much wear out of these, especially with like little Converse and a white shirt. It just looks very cool. Very, I don't even know. It just looks cool. I really like it. Some people might not, bit Marmite, but I personally really like these. So these are actually a pair from Zara, which if you've ever seen my videos before, you'll know that I'm quite a lover of Zara denim. I've got quite a few pairs in my wardrobe that have been really long lasting. They've stayed for a really long time. They're still perfect condition or like worn really well. And honestly, I actually really like them. I do think that it's a big, I think Zara is one of those shops alongside H&M where it is a bit of a task to find your perfect size because I think sometimes the sizing can be completely off. Like I personally have had three different colors in the same pair of denim and they've been completely different sizes. But once you get the size for you, they are great. So these are actually a size eight and I do have a pair that are very similar print, exactly the same style, which I got in a 10 and they fit the same. So don't know what's going on there, but these are just, so dreamy. So they've got a really faded zebra print. I don't know if you can really see, but they're very, very faded, but so nice. And then they come to the floor again, easy to crop, and they just look really cool. They're not something I typically wear, as I say, but I do think where they're black and white, I'll find them really easy to style. And they do feel like really nice, high quality denim. And I like the fact that they are, again, that really nice straight leg vibe. 
the print kind of makes it a bit more slimming as well I feel and to be completely honest they feel really high quality like these probably feel more high quality than the pull and bear pair which I just showed you they're a bit thicker and, and a bit of a nicer denim but then again these are a little bit more expensive I think these are 45 pounds whereas the pull and bear are about 30 but high street denim for the win I love it so much <laughs> That's it for today's video guys. I really hope you enjoyed seeing a few different styles of denim that I've been wearing and loving recently and the different pairs that I just find I'm gravitating to more than others in my wardrobe at the moment. All of the links and stuff will be down in the description box below. If there's any jeans that you would recommend yourself or any brands that you love, let me know in the comments because it will help everyone else out too. If you just have a brand that you really like or a pair of jeans that you really like, it's always great to share the wisdom of good jeans. <laughs> but if you like this video guys, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell to see whenever I upload and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.